Just got back from the junkyard and scored some nice stuff today. This is uh, the SI disc swap brakes that I'm going to put in my Del Sol. I've been waiting a while for these things and uh, uh, I read online that you could use the 96 or actually uh, 92 to 2000 rear trailing arms but unfortunately on these Del Sols the uh, brake cables are different. They uh, normally like on the regular Civics, you'll see this up underneath your console, center console, and uh, that's where you do all your adjusting. But on the Del Sol, this is actually underneath the car, and uh, your cables, you know, run through here, they'll connect into here and here, and the spring goes in the middle. But then this is up underneath the center console like it would be on a normal Civic and uh, you can see there's no whatever the hell this is called but this would normally be attached to here and you would adjust your cables on a normal Civic but in the Del Sol it doesn't it runs to here to here to here and then uh, on the shifter assembly let me turn it over here on the right side you will have this nut here and this is how you adjust the tension of your uh, e-brake cables a little different I don't see a lot of videos or really any information on it except for here and there on a forum but I have yet to see a video on replacing these rear trailing arms so I'm gonna attempt to show you how to do this Seeing monsters at your window No, you can't sleep, you pretend though You don't have to play the hero Cause I got you like you got me When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream Until I last breath, every heartbeat disc conversion <clears throat> you have to push. I'm gonna put this thing here to be safe you gotta take this uh, center console out you gotta screw here screw there you have one back here and one back here and you will pull this off okay once you get the screws out the console will lift up like this You'll have this connector for your uh, cigarette lighter. Be careful not to pull too hard because you'll break that wire. All right, if you're ever just wondering how to adjust these on the, the Del Sol, once you, I don't even think you have to take the console off, to be honest, but if you lift this up right up underneath here, you have that, and that is your adjustment screw. You will just adjust that and that will tighten your e-brake. To remove this or to do the swap, I always recommend starting with the, the cables first. Makes it a little bit easier. But un up underneath the car, you'll have a, uh, a bolt here and a bolt here that you will have to remove that lets this little rubber bracket out. And on this here, you will have this little tab thing here, you will have to bend it up slightly to uh, be able to slide this out of this to get this whole assembly off. But now that I'm thinking about it, since 
this is this looks exactly the same as the one that I have I think you don't even have to remove that it's the first time ever doing it on a dull soul so we're kind of learning as we go yeah see this this is exactly the same so I should be able to use you should be able to reuse this piece here all you'll have to do is disconnect it where the cables come in here and run your new ones through here and you can continue using that okay so to remove those cables you're gonna have to drop the exhaust and up behind the exhaust I don't know if you can see it here but there's a a heat shield that you have to remove which is here there's I can't remember how many bolts exactly but there's a handful of them I believe there's like one here one there and then one in the middle and one at the very end but you will have to drop the exhaust actually if you can find a way to get yeah, I, I think you're just gonna have to drop the exhaust. Excuse that bad patchwork, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to drop the exhaust. I think, which. Alright. Your exhaust may be different on the last. Whenever I pulled the this uh, trailing arm out of the junkyard, I didn't have to. Like I, I'm gonna have to drop the lower control arm here in order to get my exhaust to come down some. Because uh, you can see it's, it's it's an aftermarket, and uh, I don't know how else I'm gonna do this. So, anyways. You gotta take the tires off. Standard size for the lug nuts is 19 millimeter. Okay, as I'm looking up under here, I don't even think if you can find a way to work around your exhaust, like, let's see if we'll focus. Uh, need to remove those two bolts, and then as you come down the heat shield. You have, let's see, there it is, you have this bolt right here, which is not going to focus, but you have that bolt right there that you need to, to remove as well. Once you get those out, you can drop the heat shield down, it might just be easier just to remove the exhaust. Um, I think it'll be easier just to remove the exhaust uh, in my case here I think I'm going to drop it from this hanger I'm going to drop it from that hanger and then <coughs> then uh, I don't know if might be able to drop it enough just dropping that bracket or that rubber bracket there if not then I'm gonna have to remove the lower control arm let's see what right. drop that other one and see if it lowers down. If it don't lower it down, I'm going to have to disconnect it. Yeah, I just realized that there's another rubber bracket on the other side of the exhaust. And then behind your rear trailing arm, there's another one that goes right here that you need to pull off to. I think it will drop it down enough to where we can get that heat shield out. Okay, it, uh, it looks like it 
We'll hang down low enough to where we can uh, pull those out, pull the heat shut out. Anyways, you got a bolt there, like I said before, and then two up there you need to remove. Go ahead and remove, remove that heat shield. Okay, once you get the uh, those bolts removed, <coughs> bolts removed out of there, they should slide. Next, uh, okay. uh, right there is where I was talking about earlier. You got one bolt there and one bolt there, and then that will pull out from the inside. But first, you're going to need to remove this cotter pin to disconnect. Uh, this part of the cable from this bracket. Once you get that removed, you can uh, unbolt this bolt and this bolt. That will drop this down, and then that will drop this down, and then you can take the cables out of this bracket, disconnect the spring. And then uh, pull them through here. And then you gotta have a bolt here for the bracket, a bolt there. And you have another one right, uh, right there, but you do not have to remove that one. But get those removed. And uh, then I'll show you what we do next. Right, I'll see if I can show you how to do this. If not, I might just have to come back. Uh, this car is too low. Okay, focus. Stars at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though. 